Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. If you read my title, it says Sex Magic, the Highest Form. I was supposed to put of witchcraft, but I'll put that later. Um, part one. You know, I'm gonna break this thing down. I tell you, I've been praise God, hallelujah. Those that are on the fast, God bless you. Remember, when it's a corporate fast, you can talk about it because you we do want to encourage each other. I encourage you. This is the fifth day of the 14 day full liquid fast. Drink lots of water, green tea, stay away from fiber, stay away from things that can expand your intestines. You have to read up on these things. I'm very serious. You know, um, just Stick to the program. Um, you can have smoothies if you, you know, you start feeling whatever weak. Also, um, mm, chicken broth, beef broth, and, you know, kind of spice it up or whatever the case may be. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let me go ahead into my title. Um, this is going to be very intense because as I've been on this fast, God's been showing me stuff that that was been right before I asked the, the whole time. What? Are the stars promoting sex? Y'all wonder why they're always naked, performing in a sexual twerking, doing all this other stuff. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. And it's the highest form because what happens? You're doing it with your body, but oh man, this thing's so deep. That's why I said part one. Okay, so let me slow myself down. Good afternoon, good night, everybody. Praise God. Okay, so. The first thing I want to talk about is sex magic. It's sometimes spelled sex magic, G-I-C-K. It's any type of sexual activity used in magical, ritualistic, or otherwise religious and spiritual pursuits. One practice of sex magic is using the energy. Y'all notice everybody been using the energy lately and also all them crystals. Y'all sitting up there and I don't mean no harm. Look, let me tell you something. When I preach and teach, I'm not trying to bash you. I'm not just a, I'm not just a preacher. I'm a teacher. That's what we do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's the first thing that Jesus did. He took 12 disciples and the root word from disciples is discipline, spiritual discipline. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. How not to touch the unclean thing. Let me finish. Sex magic is using the energy or sexual arousal of orgasm or um, being visual. That's also where masturbation come in. Why do y'all think, and I'm going to talk about some hard things tonight. I'm going to tell you right now. Go ahead, tag and share, because guess what? Knowledge is power. Point blank in the story. God says that his people perish for lack of knowledge. Why do y'all think all this baby stuff is happening? And I, I'm going to have to go here. I just can't say baby stuff. Why do you, I, I just read, um, it was in Alabama, believe it or not. Father killed his own daughter, sodomized her, and then killed her. Why do y'all think this is happening? So I'm going to have to slow this thing out and I'm going to have to teach this thing because you are allowing lust. And I got to tell you how they come in through porno. These women in the industry, I'm talking about music industry, Hollywood. If you are wearing all kind of stuff to entice men, do you understand that you're part of the problem? Oh, come on, somebody. Some of you are not going to like me and I really don't care. I'll make no sense. You showing all that, so not the little girls, two, three, four, five. And hold on, it's not their fault, their children. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But let me tell you what's happening. Because sex, and you know God showed me this before I was even saved. I had a vision about lust and sex, and I didn't understand it, but I understand it today. That's what's taking over. So now you have all that porn. Do you know what's the number one pornographic site? Is sex with babies. I, I'm going to say some hard things. I'm not trying to be derogatory, but I got to hit and move and I got to do it right the way God said it. When I was in California, and that was in 2015, I got so upset. Do you know they had a site where they wouldn't even have sex with the baby? They would, oh God, I got to say it. They would urinate and have a bowel movement on the baby. And guess what? That was exciting to them. And I know it sounds bad, but I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all what's happening here. So all that, why do you think they're stealing kids? It's not just for organs. Yes, a lot of it is, for, but it's for child trafficking rituals. Do you understand what the enemy is doing? Thank you, Lord. Do you remember when they was looking for Jesus and they said, kill all the kids? It's always been an attack on our kids. And we have a nation that's not standing up for our kids. So the church, it's time for the church to pray. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah.
Y'all think it's a game? In your city, in your state, you need to be drawing bloodlines. Y'all need to be having prayer conferences. Y'all need to, be, you understand what I'm saying? This stuff real. I told y'all in, 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 oh my, I gotta go here. I think it was in 2015, 2014, I'm not sure. I'm from Abbeville, Louisiana, and some of y'all will get mad. I don't care. There was murdering people. I called down there and I said, God say, get all, listen to me very carefully because this is for everybody. This is for the whole world. He said, get everybody in the square, wherever downtown is, the, the main attraction. And leaders have to lock hands. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And they got to be righteous leaders. We don't want no homongers up in there. Come on, somebody. And you got to pray and tell that territorial demon today it stops. Hallelujah. The power of God is real, but you're just not using your spiritual authority. Because y'all scared what people are going to say. Because y'all trying to be people pleasers, King Saul. This is a King Saul spirit. Well, you know the people. Forget the people. What about the spirits? What about the people that can't fight for themselves? Come on, somebody, hallelujah, that are not spiritually inclined. I mean, if we're preaching and teaching, what are we doing it for? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me continue. Because I got a lot of stuff, to, a lot of stuff, a lot of information. And so it's a lot of porn sites. And God says that it's a lot of church people that are looking at it as well. So that, and, and I'm going to do a, a little short testimony. When I said I used to have all kinds of things attached to me, trust me. I, I was doing all kind of stuff as well. When I started my journey towards God, God said, Deanna, you can't do this. You can't look at this. You can't. I'm talking about not, I don't even, I don't even own a TV. I haven't, I haven't looked at a TV TV. Now there are times when I'm to somebody's house or whatever the case may be, I might glance. I might even look, I ain't gonna lie, but it, it's, I promise you, it's something spiritual or something family oriented. I don't want anything to come in my spirit and then have me thinking about something that's not of God. I just said something. And most of you, y'all downplay it. Oh, it's just a movie. No, it's not. That's a spirit that's trying to connect with your spirit and trying to take you on a journey. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This stuff real. And yeah, yeah, oh, oh, don't take all that. That's why the church in trouble today. Because it didn't. Let me tell you something. Praise God. I'm, I'm cut different. I'm not with this new generation stuff. Ain't nobody hating on y'all, but I ain't with y'all because y'all acting like it don't take all that. Yes, it do. It take everything to stay safe. Hallelujah. I'm talking about we only human and we all process and it take everything not to do this, do that and do that because we are tempted and will always be tempted. Truth be told, as long as they have a devil on this earth. Hallelujah. It takes all that plus some. It takes fasting. It takes praying. It takes making good decisions not to watch porn, not to listen to cursing music. Y'all know why our, our children are killing each other? Which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Listen to the music. I was driving the other day and I couldn't help it. This guy, he was just a gone. Like I used to do, I ain't gonna lie. I was just boom. And I mean, he was just a gone. I mean, he was just a gone. The violence, you can see it. And I started praying. I said, Lord, have mercy. Because that music was just getting to him. That's where it happens. It's a spirit, violence, sex magic. Let me tell you what they do. And I, I now understand why God stopped everything when I was in Hollywood. I'm so glad he stopped it. At first, I was very upset. I was like, God, you don't want me to be famous? Thank you, Jesus, you stopped it. I couldn't understand why sex and music, they've been doing it from the beginning. Notice when you listen to something that is very sexual, you can say what you want. It will arouse some parts of your body and even your mind. It'll take you back in the day when you used to do how you used to do what you used to do. Don't play with me. Hallelujah. I can't listen to certain music because I'll be like, and I'm from Abbeville, Louisiana, so we country. We'll be like, hey, no, y'all know what time it is. You can't do what you used to do and you can't connect to what you used to connect. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I still, when I used to clean up and I'm going to be very transparent because y'all need that. Listening to, you know, Freddie Jackson, Rock Me Tonight or, or uh, Whitney Houston, You Give Good Love to Me. I can't listen to that type of music no more because it'll take me on that journey when I was with, hmm, yeah, y'all get what I'm saying. I don't need to go on them journeys. Not if I'm a new creature in Christ. So let me work this thing out. All right. So we're talking about black sex magic and we talk not black as in black people but black and white sex magic it's almost like bringing in um vampires sex magic Let, let's let's work this thing through sex magic is a technical term for a devotional did you know that sexual magic is devotional sexual practice in witchcraft wicca karma sartre and hinduism 
You understand what I'm saying? Oh, I'm gonna work this thing out. And it says that what it does is it all focuses about our orgasms. And what they try to do is sex magic is a tool to manifest something or someone demons. Y'all understand what I'm saying? I'm gonna work this thing out from a spiritual awakening to meeting your soulmate. So do you understand? That's why when prostitution or people that are strippers. When they go in them clubs, y'all wonder why the men come back with spirits or whatever the case may be. That's why they call them soul ties. Whatever you participate in, I promise you, it's an attachment. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And and sex sells. As a matter of fact, sex is the biggest seller next to cigarettes. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, they, and it's selling well. Y'all don't hear me. Let me continue. Let me continue. It says that it's traditional witchcraft. Sex magic has several uses. Sex magic can be used as an offering for daily worship. Did you know that? Everything we use, they use anointing oil. They use sage. I'm so tired of everybody saying, let me tell you something. They even use herbs. Did you know they use herbs? Oh, come on, somebody. So you mean to tell me, let's say you use rosemary. You understand? It is not what you use. It is the form of what you use. Y'all ain't ready for me because, praise God, let me stick to the subject. Also, for acting the mysteries of gods. So sex magic is also for worship to the gods, to their gods. That's why I notice people are calling themselves goddesses. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, I started getting a headache. Y'all know that's witchcraft. So whatever or whatever is trying to come against me right now, because y'all hate this. I mean, they hate this. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I sever everything, every demonic entity, every witch and warlock that's on here watching. I lay hands on myself. Oh, y'all going to see this tonight. Hallelujah. I lay hands on myself as a child of the living God. Oh, you can't stop me. You can't block me. The power of the Holy Ghost is over me. And I sever every attack right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I promise by God that here they go. I promise you I ain't lying. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's good. I got nothing to do with me. Hallelujah. The power of God is real. Y'all better learn how to lay hands on yourself. I don't know who was trying to work that magic, but the devil is a liar because I ain't the one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is real. I ain't that great. It's the power of God. Let me continue now. Trying to stop me. Okay, so God said it's a tradition and it's about raising energy. So that's why they're doing the crystals these days. They're talking about energy and even, um, what's her name? Ayala Vincent talking about the new thought process. Now y'all understand that's why they're trying to, and, and notice what they're focusing on mental illness. Oh, they know what they're doing, y'all, because they're trying to get you away from God. This is a process they've been doing for years. Let me continue this thing. Do you know that magical use is also empowered by sexual fluids? When they kill these kids, when they kidnap these kids, they need they need their blood. They need, I'm, I, I'm, I don't want to hurt y'all because I know y'all don't like that, but I just got to walk this thing out. And do you understand that they also use the kids to conceive? Y'all got to understand. That's why some of them have babies. Hold on. And it says, they act as a sacred whore. Excuse the expression. I'm just telling you what black sex magic is, sexual magic. And also, they empower a working or a sejo, and also, they try to use it for healing. But when I told y'all that they bathe in baby's blood, they believe that they'll be young. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. Let me tell you what deeply believe, that they can steal their youth, and the devil give them the power to. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Hallelujah. Let me continue. Let me walk this thing out. Also, they believe as a kinky fun game. Notice those little games that people be playing sex games or dating relationship games, and, and they incorporate it in there. And you think it's just, oh, I'm just having fun. We're playing the game. I don't like games. I don't like games because it, it start getting weird. Y'all don't hear me, though. Hold on. And the more I did research, it says that what they do is they try to practice it as sex magic as a joke. It's not a joke. You're playing with demons. Hold on. Let me let me continue. It says sex magic. They practice drinking menstrual blood. I know this sounds crazy, y'all. Some insist on a sexual act occurring outdoors in a traditional witchcraft ritual. Y'all understand what's happening here? Praise God. Hallelujah. For the purpose of spraying, they spray. Oh, my God. And they love to have sex outside. And guess what? In March, in, in March temperatures. Man, I'm telling you, they practice incarnation. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me. Basically, sex and magic, the reason why they do it is because they want to cause something to a desire to happen. They want to open up more portals. That's why everybody's, let me tell you something. A spirit of lust is one of the most powerful spirits on this earth. 
That's as a matter of fact, that's why people get homosexuality. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. People are not born that way. And I'm not saying they're bad people. Come on, somebody. We don't bash the people. We love them back to life. Hallelujah. And that's a spirit. Because truth be told, now I'm gonna talk to I'm gonna touch on something, and some of you not gonna like it. When Tank said that um the other day, everybody started saying he was gay. He wasn't lying, y'all. And I'm a prophet. He wasn't lying. Because here's the deal. Just because you do something once or twice doesn't make you gay. But it makes you a lustful person. Because something inside of you drew you to that act. Come on, somebody. An act or action. Come on. Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. I'm just being real with y'all. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And it's all spiritual. Come on, somebody. It's all spiritual. I'm not condoning any act between a man and a man and a woman and woman. I'm trying to tell you. How do you think people get delivered? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And I'm going here. And you know, God told me, I, was, I didn't even know I was going to do this tonight. I've already said it, okay, but I'm going to say it again because I know what God is doing. And I will say this, though. I wouldn't have did so much if I didn't know he was going to make me tell all my business. I promise you I wouldn't know. So, and y'all need to hear this, especially for the ones that, that are involved in homosexuality. When I was in college, I did. I didn't understand it. You could say I was trying something out and it only happened a couple of times. That doesn't make me gay, but it did happen. And I was never gay, but I understand I had a very sensual, sexual spirit over me. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me tonight. That's why I have a heart for people. I don't, y'all be throwing away people. Oh, they this, they that. Have you ever thought that maybe they've been trying to fight something? Hallelujah, I feel the power of God. Fight something that they can't. Because it's spiritual. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, you mean to tell me you ain't never had a fight? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm talking up in here tonight. This stuff real. Whatever you dabble in, it is an attachment. Hallelujah. And that thing must be cast out. That thing must be severed to the root of that thing. Or you will continue. And it's a tormenting spirit. I have so many people that reach out to me and say, I don't want to live like this. I don't want to do this. That, mean, that doesn't mean they're bad people. They have an attachment. Come on, somebody. Let me continue to walk this. I don't know why God made me say this, but this for a few on you. You can beat this thing. You can beat any spirit with the help of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The power of God is still real. Don't ever think that you have to succumb to any spirit that is not of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me continue. Sex and witchcraft make intimate bedfellows. Both practices hornal and desires for powerful energies. They look for anointed people. Things just don't happen. Why do you think they go in them churches looking for men of God to bring them down and vice versa? Come on, somebody. Y'all don't understand what's really happening? That's witches and warlocks that are sent in there. They love the anointing. They are drawn to the anointing. Uh, I went into uh, Walmart tonight getting some, some stuff to... Um, you know, for the fast. Long story short, I promise you that this guy just kept staring at me. He was handsome. I'm not going to lie to y'all. And he walked past me and I felt something. I said, God, what's going on? So by the time I got to the register, believe it or not, and I knew it, God said, he's going to try to give you his card. You know that man gave me his card. I just looked at him. The devil is a lie. God warned me about you before. <laughs> We're not all that great. I know we think we're better than sliced bread. They are attracted to the anointing of God. Hallelujah. They're not playing. Oh, come on, somebody. But y'all call it energies. Let me continue this. It says a taboo for women, and they even talk about homosexuality. They engage in this. And as Halloween approaches, the air is getting thick with magic and mayhem. Notice what he says. And here's what happened. It comes from doing sex magic. Do you remember that guy they killed? When, um, what was the name of that movie? Anybody know the name of that movie? When he, when he, when he exposed them having them sex parties? Oh, they killed him. I forgot the name of it. Oh, Holy Spirit, bring it to me. Mm -mm -mm. my god my god and i'm talking about they ex he exposed and they killed him but that's how it's happening because remember your spirits are intertwining sexual soul ties let me continue try out a few sex tips and then they call it a sub to sex tips from witches and it's a it's called a seasonal spirit come on somebody and here's what they do they need people that are highly erotic Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All right. So praise God. Now, they have a musician. That's a witch. Let me tell y'all something. Kend uh, what's his name? Eddie Kendrick said this. He said, 
We have the power to make you do and feel anything. Y'all don't know why y'all go so, I'm talking about when y'all listen to music, y'all go to a whole new spectrum, whatever type of music you're listening to, because it's a spirit attached to the music. So my question is, how many witches and warlocks are musicians? Y'all, I know y'all don't like me because some people got mad at me about saying that by Kanye West. What y'all think, Kanye? Let me tell you something. He keeps saying, he goes around, he goes around it. He says, I'm a Christian, whatever. I've never heard him say Jesus Christ is Lord. They don't mind saying Jesus Christ is King. They don't mind talking about Jesus, but they will not say Jesus Christ is Lord. Y'all better catch a clue. And there is no evidence of the Holy Ghost because you'll feel it. Oh, you'll feel it. I, I'm not talking about just music because they, they already know how to make you move. We black people and all kinds of people know how to move. I mean, we love music. If you ever want to see who you really are, put music and food together and you have a culture that you know, ain't about color but it is about spirits. Come on, somebody, let me continue to do this thing. And I'm, I'm gonna um, get that movie because I wish somebody would write it in the thing, but that's okay, that's okay. Let me continue. I'm gonna get it before we move out, um, out of here. Okay, so God says that they also do levitation. They try to get out of body experiences. Now y'all ain't gonna believe this, but guess what brings it on too? Doing yoga, certain massages, certain dances, and certain meditation. And, and they prepare your mind for sexual engagement. Oh, come on, somebody. They try to heighten their senses, which means the pleasure is hiding during sex. Come on, somebody. Let me continue. Not only that they use herbs associated with love, aphrodisiacs. They love the diamond rose, um, uh, herb, rose, cinnamon, and jasmine. And they use cannabis. Did y'all know that there's a weed witch? Y'all wonder why everybody want to do cannabis now. Is this kind of like relating to y'all understanding what's happening? So weed witches, that's what y'all see right now. And they burn the incense and tea and they, and they make people want to help. And it's called marijuana magic. I didn't even know that, y'all. I didn't even know that. Y'all understand why people are gravitating. Y'all thinking y'all youth are everybody just getting on. This is a spirit. And if they don't have the Holy Spirit to fight them, they are overcome. Oh, come on, somebody. That's why you got to prove your family. This stuff real, you guys. Okay, so let me continue. Speaking of herbs, they call, they cleanse their bedroom with it. Oh, come on, somebody. Some of you guys, some of you women, now you know what's been over you. That witchcraft. Y'all be smelling something when y'all walk in the house. What's that smell? Oh, that's just a new fragrance. Oh, you better check that because if it hurts your head, your body, or make you feel nauseous, Get about it then. I don't care what you got to go to your mama house, your daddy house, somebody house. Get about it then. Talk about leave them. That's a witch or a warlock. Y'all better start understanding. When you smell something strange, it's strange. Praise God. Let me continue. It's a lot of information. That's why I said part one. Okay. Oh, Lord. They even set up altars, God says. They set up altars and, and they put sensual stuff on the altar, even by their bed. Have y'all ever saw y'all partner? have y'all you know underwears or i'm sorry i'm not trying to be derogatory but y'all gotta watch people if they are inside of your personal stuff why you want my personal stuff what you doing oh i just i feel, want to feel close to you y'all better y'all okay y'all clowning y'all think it's a game and what they do is they try to burn stuff and they burn it with herbs and what they try to do also sex magic they 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 like solos but they really like a party session now y'all understand why people like orgies y'all they've been doing that since Sodom and Gomorrah because the more orgies the more spirits oh come on somebody I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do a part two on this I'm telling you even washing your sheets in a ritual bath you can't even trust nobody to watch your sheets. I'm just learning some of this stuff too. And, and, and notice if your clothes smell funny. I'm trying to tell y'all what to look out for. Y'all playing. Uh, and myth, witches and warlocks, they're drawing to, it's called prismatic magic in crystals. Now you know what's the phenomenal about crystals. Oh, I love the energy. That is demons in them crystals. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't notice what's happening? Oh, Lord. It's called Chuck. It's called, I'm going to spell it because I can't say the word, chalk rubs. But it's C-H-A-K-R-U-B-S, sexual wellness products. It's called crystal sexual wellness products. And what they try to do is they use it, so say, for healing, trauma. But it's really used for spell and ushering self-love. 
Now y'all understand why everybody talking about self-love. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, I did a lot of research. And they believe that crystal is healing, but God says it opens up demonic portals. Well, come on, somebody. And did you even know the silicon where people are putting in their breasts and their butt and everything? Do you know that that is a form of crystal? They just know how to shave it down. Man, I'm just learning this too. This stuff is so deep. I'm going to do probably a part two, three, and four. Sex magic is the practice of manifesting your goals and desires by harnessing your energy produced during a sexual act. Now y'all understand why they got pornos, sexual acts, um, tools. Um, <laughs> I don't want to call out that girl name that sell all that 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 sexual gear. Y'all now y'all understand, and y'all be using that stuff. Do you know people pray over that stuff? Oh man, y'all in red, and y'all wonder why later on there are things that's happening to your body. God says, count the cost. Hold on. He says, don't get distracted by how good you're feeling. Y'all like to say good sex, huh? You don't know if that's a demon. You don't know if they have prayed something over. You don't know if you've drunk something. This is that real. Not trying to get y'all to be in fear but to be alert, to question everything and everybody. I tell my, my um, class and I'm telling y'all, when you meet someone, don't you know that there are demons that are that people are possessed and they look human. They look like me, they look like you and they straight up demons and you could feel it. You'll be like, something wrong with that person. That's why when you meet somebody, I'm so serious, people of God. And even if you're just learning to be a person of God, Say, God, who is this before me? Show me their spirit, because this is a lot like a rug. I mean, come on now. Hollywood, why do you think they got movie actors? They act good. They all should be in Hollywood. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You got to ask God to show you their spirit, because God going to show you. Because if you miss it, he'll wake you up 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and tell you this is the whole matter. But now some of that stuff is y'all fault, because y'all still. But they're okay. No, they're not. Not if they're with y'all. Voila. Let me tell you something. I feel the power of God. I hate to say this, but it's true. Why y'all think women are getting killed by their husbands and vice versa? They married the wrong person. Just because so, oh, I got to go here. God is telling me this. Just because it's good sex or the person look good or a good credit score, they got money. That don't mean that's your husband or your wife. You got to, let me tell you something, how you're going to get this thing right. The last hour that we got left. And when I say hour, I'm talking about these the end times. You got to ask God and it may not be who you want, but God know what you need. Come on, somebody. Most of y'all are going off of looks. Oh, I'm going here. If the sex is good, it's the bomb.com and, and you tripping. And once you have sex with somebody, that's a soul tie. As a matter of fact, that's sexual magic. Did you know that? Come on, somebody. That's why they call it soul tie. I mean, you don't even be wanting a person. You'd be like, you know, have you ever dated somebody or even married somebody? And then later on be like, yeah, what was I thinking? You wasn't. You allowed your body to lead you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me continue. It says that also with the spirit and the deity, sex can be incredible powerful. Now, y'all know why y'all, some of y'all get hooked. They like to call it blank whipped. No, them spirits got you where they want you. That's what that is. Come on, somebody. And guess what they devoted to? The goddess Babylon. Did y'all know that? It is the devotion to Babylon. Isn't it? Wait a minute. Don't Isn't Babylon in the Bible? Yeah, y'all starting to understand. And guess what? They keep an altar in their bedroom where they do regular office and they practice. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And they put your name and your picture in there by lighting a candle. Oh, God, this stuff is crazy. As a devotion to Babylon and the altar. And it's like a regular offerings, offerings, you know, like we do offering. Okay. And then if, if the relationship try to split, notice you, you, you feel like a yearning to go back, even when you don't want to, that is that devotion. And it's like, they're praying to the demons. Keep me on their mind. Keep me. Now y'all understand that's some witchcraft because if it's over, it's over. Y'all ain't ready for me. Let me keep on going. Then they like candles. They burn incense on Fridays. Oh, isn't that something how God got me doing this on Friday? Y'all ain't ready for me. Then they try to do with the planet Venus. They perform an action of choice based around sex. They meditate on it. They don't even do a prayer. Oh, my God. They got a whole prayer centered around sex, um, trauma, and also dance. And they call it self-massage or masturbation. So that's why it's, masturbation is such a strong spirit, because guess what? That's part of a spirit as well. It, it's called sexual magic. So all this stuff that's not of God is, is a sexual magic, which is connected to demons. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 
And then they'll tell you it's time to treat your body as something sexually and it should be honored. Now, October is often the time for people to be enmasked with witchcraft and transform. And actually it's all year round, but in October, they actually do it more so. They have more sex in this month than ever. This is the Black Sex Magic Month like never before. Um, and that's all the information I have tonight. It's a lot of information. So I'll be back with a part two. <sighs> Y'all better count the calls. No, but you know, the Bible says that it's not good for man to be alone. I get that. I get that. But I'm going to tell you my prayer. And then maybe you will pray the same prayer. But I did ask God. I said, God, and I, I do. I did. I desire to be married. But don't let me marry the person that's going to kill me. I just said something spiritually, physically, financially, emotionally, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But some of y'all are so moved by your emotions. You have to pray that prayer. You have to pray with yourself, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Control my emotions, control my sexual desires, control my flesh. That's how it starts. You got to pray over yourself. And I wouldn't mind. I hate they gone. So which and what like you lose? <laughs> Let me get up out of here. So God bless you. God keep you. Sharing um, tag because this stuff real. I didn't even know some of this stuff. I I knew it was real, but I didn't know it was that real. Now y'all see why our kids are going missing. Please, people of God, and you ain't got to be no apostle, prophet, evangelist. Let me tell you something. If you anointed, you anointed. Pray over your city. Pray over your state. Pray over your children. They, and look, back in the day, they used to say it takes a whole village to raise one child. We need to go back to that saying. Pray over your kids. If you see something, say something. If you see an adult trying to get a kid, you do something. It's time for us to stop being scared. When I say that in general, people are fear. They'll see something and will not say nothing. Y'all will see kids killing each other. And I, I got to say a testimony. I don't know why God want me to say this. When I was in Calip, no, he wanted me to say the first one. When I was in Atlanta, and I was what? I was about 30-something. I was coming, and I was living in Lithonia, Georgia. I was coming to the apartment complex. And I didn't know God like I know God, right? But I saw a whole group of guys. And I've said this testimony before, but I'm trying to tell y'all something. God has said, call the cops. And I, I doubted myself. Well, five minutes later, it was a gun shootout. And I remember God. He told me, he said, find Adam. So I, I found Adam. And he he the one led me. And they had split Adam's head open. His brain was seeping out. And they was about to shoot him. They had the gun and everything. And I said, with the power of God. I said, with the power of God. I say, stop right now. And them boys looked at me. I said, I'm not playing. Put that gun away and get up out of here. And I remember just holding Adam brain together. And I said, you're not going to die. You're not going to die because God sent me. And I, I, I mean, I prayed. I prayed whatever five. I didn't know what I know now, but I was praying. I would say, God, if you sent me, don't let this young man die. He didn't. His mother and his father, now, my spiritual uh, mentor, I didn't even know because I'm just coming in, right? And I jumped out the car and went and found Adam. My spiritual mentor, Michael, God had told him to find the other one. Now, these were the two friends. So it was 20 boys after two boys. I don't know what had happened. Never asked. Don't care. He found another one, but they had shot him once. They was trying to kill him, and Mike got in the way. So we come back into the house after um, the Pope, you know, the Amalams took him, and we both blood, and we just look at each other and start crying because we didn't even know that God had used each other. Y'all ain't ready for me. It's not to try to act like I'm all glorified. No, no. You got to get yourself in a position to be used by God. God, I, uh, wherever, however, and don't be scared. Everybody's running in the house. I'm, I'm trying to run and find somebody through gunfire. Second thing, California. It's happened twice. I'm up there passing out flyers for the conference. And as soon as I pulled up at, um, it was IGA, as soon as I pulled up at that store, next thing I know what ended up happening is these guys were getting ready to shoot each other. This woman pulled right up on side of me. I didn't even notice them. I just looked at her. I said, you ready? She said, yeah. I said, you take that one. I get that one. And so then I, I, I go to this young man. He's about to shoot the other guy. And I said, look at me. I said, look at me. And that broke that thing. I said, you want to go to jail for life, for killing him? Y'all got to stop being scared. I'm tired of cowards. but I'm real with you. I'm not saying being foolish. But when you have the power of God, ain't nothing going to happen to you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Nevertheless, they didn't kill each other that day. Then there was another time. I just, I, I'm sorry. I'm just like that. I'm not trying to act like I'm invincible or I'm the greatest thing. I know who's with me. Stop being scared. Because some people are getting killed right in front of people's face. And I can guarantee that'll never happen on my watch. Hallelujah. I ain't playing. Whatever happened, happened. Hallelujah. But not on my watch. 
And I challenge every last one of y'all, not on your watch, man. Stop being, pick up the phone, call the police, do something. Quit letting people just do what they want to do. The devil think he running stuff, but God say not so. Hallelujah. So y'all ain't got me hype. Let me get on hype. <laughs> God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. Have a blessed night, everybody.